Hey friends, in this video we will learn about a very interesting topic that is called uh, McAfee device control. Basically device control is the part of McAfee DLP. Uh, McAfee device control protects critical data from uh, leaving your company through removal media such as USB drives, Bluetooth devices and uh, other uh, CD or DVDs uh, which is currently recordable on your laptop. Uh, it gives you the tools to monitor and control data transfers from all desktops and laptops uh, regardless of where users and confidential data go even when they are not connected to the corporate network uh, because sales team such as uh, we are just giving an example a sales person who moves um, uh, who moves uh, uh, somewhere in the remote locations but still device control helps the helps to preventing of uh, data leakage from uh, uh, such removal media like uh, pen drive or uh, mobile devices as well so um, device control needs to be in, to be installed on the e policy orchestrator and also the client uh, device control uh, McAfee DLP client will also installed on the client machines where uh, the device control uh, will contact to the agent and they will just uh, monitor and and take the and it will take the actions what we have configured in the DLP uh, device control so we need to just install the device control on e policy orchestrator i'm just going to log on the e policy orchestrator After entering the correct details, it's just validated and it and, uh, and it's redirected to the ePolicy Orchestrator dashboard. And uh, for the device control installations, you just need to click on the menu, and uh, in the software options, you need to go on the software catalog. In the software catalog, basically, uh, list the complete set of applications or set of. Uh, uh, evaluation applications is uh, available so if you want to evaluate some other products of McAfee so just you can install from the software catalog as well because we need to just install the device control uh, so we will just search the product category this is the DLP data loss prevention category so I need to just expand this one once I expand it, so I can see uh, there is the uh, software catalog sh showing the complete product that is McAfee device control 11.1. This is the version of device control and this is the latest one of uh, uh, McAfee device control version. So I'm just going to click on the options over here and uh, Currently it's not checked in, so I need to just click on check in all. So once I click on the check in all, so uh, it is uh, saying that the client package branch will be current location and the components which needs to be installed. This is a complete package of device control. So you need to just verify which products, uh, which components are going to be installed. So, uh, so these are the product this is the package and extensions and uh, this is the license agreement you need to click on accept once you click on the accept so it is just asking to click on check in so it will take uh, 5 to 5 to 10 minutes to installing the packages and uh, um, and other extensions as well we need to just wait over here. Now the product has been installed and it is saying that updated. So once DLP device control has been installed, you need to just click on menu again and verify the product. See, uh, this is the data protection and the DLP settings. In the DLP settings, you require to enter the license key which you have uh, 
purchase from McAfee uh, or McAfee vendor. So once you will uh, enter the correct key, so after that the product will be visible over here, device control product and uh, the key will be also available here and the durations type of licenses either it's a perpetual or yearly basis this will be available on this point so so this is the way to install the device control um, on your e policy orchestrator in the last video in the next video we will see how we can configure and uh, how we can install the device control on the client on the endpoint machine as well as also we will see how we can block or how we can prevent the uh, you know, mass storage devices such as uh, uh, pen drive or mobile devices or these kind of uh, devices we will see how we can also uh, allow a specific pen drive or mass storage so uh, for the business requirement or for any justification of the business so we can allow the uh, appropriate devices with their uh, serial number or with the ac uh, account basis i mean because we have integrated ldap with a policy orchestrator so we can also allow the uh, specific mass storage devices on the user basis thank you for the watching this video